Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In our previous session, we have successfully created this card details page, right? Before closing this one, let's do another thing that we will add a delete button here. So that means whenever the user tries to click on this delete button, he can able to delete that cart item. So we'll add that one, one, one button that one. So that scenario we'll try to add it. So for doing that one, what we need to do, let's go on to this cart details.ejs file. And here I need to create something like, let's say that I'm creating here action. Okay. You can have actions and here I will be creating one div. So we cannot add directly that anchor link card slash delete slash product ID. We cannot give that one. So directly we will create a form. Okay. Form. And here I will give adding action slash cart slash delete item. Another one, what I am giving is method is equal to post. So in this form, I can have a button, delete button, and this class is btn btn hyphen danger. So I am adding a button. Now for this form button, so what I will try to do, I need to send the input type is equal to hidden the product ID. There is nothing but name is equal to product ID and value is equal to product dot ID. So already we have the product ID in that product details. So that's it. So let's try to see the output. So if I try to see the output, we are able to see if I refresh, I'm able to see the delete button. If I click on this delete button, the card, the, the item that is added into the cart should be deleted. And we should be in the same card details, say same card page it should be. So let's try to see here. So we are having a card slash delete item and we are having this input type is called ID, right? Let's go on to this home.js and here we are having the card details. So let's try to add router dot post slash cart. Anybody coming slash cart slash delete item. And here I can say the delete cart item. So this is the method. And, and we need to add it in the cart controller. So here exports dot delete cart item. And I will be getting the request and response. We'll also get another third parameter that is nothing but next <coughs> import this delete cart item. So I'm importing this delete cart item in this cart controller. First get the product ID constant product ID. Okay. So request dot body dot product ID. If it is a dynamic root params means params dot product ID will used to get, but this one is a form submission request dot product ID. After getting the product ID in the card dot JS, if you, if you see this model card dot JS, we already have a method that is nothing but delete product from cart. Okay. We can use this delete product from cart and this one has to, uh, this one we need to send the product ID. We already have the product ID and after sending this product ID, a callback has to be there. So in this callback, we can write this dot redirect after deleting this one. So we can move it to cart. So delete this delete cart from product ID is not taking any, uh, where is that one cart controller and cart.js. So this doesn't take any callback. Actually, we are using this one in the product.js file. While we are deleting a product, we are also deleting the product from the cart. So if you want, you can pass this one after deleting the product, you can write the file here products.json. So you can use this callback thing, but I am trying to make it as simple as possible. So here we are having in the cart.js. Let's try to take the callback. Okay. So I can keep it as a default value, something like empty. And here I can say that <coughs> if callback is there or otherwise if callback is there, so I can write it like this and I can call this callback. That's it. Let's go to the cart controller and here. So product and we are sending the callback and it will call this method. That's it. Let's see whether it is working or not. So I am adding the card details here. If I click on this one, delete product from cart is not defined. So here we need to go to the cart controller. Okay. Let's try to import this one. Yeah. At the top, we need to import these all the things. So delete product from cart. And if you go into this cart.js and if you Let's go to the, let's refresh it. Yeah. Delete 
delete see automatically the cart has been deleted and if you go to the admin or home page and this product is there and if you click on this add to cart and if you go here see we are able to see the cart item and here when i am trying to delete this cart item if you go to the admin so that cart is not deleted that product is not deleted only the product from the cart has been deleted so this is how we can implement the delete cart item also so hope you understood about this deleting the cart item if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you